Hello and welcome to the Lake Marshall Open, a Disc Golf Pro Tour Silver Series event. This is our FPO lead card coverage, final round, front nine. Right now we have Macy Villa Diaz in the lead, Natalie Ryan in second, Sarah Hokum in third, Holly Finley in fourth, and Autumn Grace in fifth. Here we are on hole one, a par four, 573 feet. You do have a significant water carry to start the round off with, OB surrounding this landing zone. If you can get to the top of the ridge, that is an elite shot. The second shot needs to go all the way into the screen. It is easy to go long, and there is OB long involved, so you can play it safe and high and play it for par. We have Macy Villa Diaz up first, sending a hyzer shot. Over to the right side, letting the disc work back into the fairway. And right at the bottom of the hill, that's exactly where you want to land. And luckily today, we didn't have a whole lot of wind. So we were really able to air it out without worrying about turning it over or the wind taking it. And that was a great shot by Natalie Ryan. Sarah keeps it low, lands right at the bottom of the hill. It's a great shot. Now we have Holly Finley up. And a low line drive. Great shot. And she'll also be right at the bottom of the hill. Change the game plan for the up shot. Amazing shot. I so what was the change? That the up shot on hole one is similar to the up shot on hole three. So I just kind of threw the same thing. Okay. Sarah Hokum with her second shot, and that is looking beautiful. Look at wow. this. Wow. Oh, sit down. Oh, what? oh, sit down. Wait a s Wow, I had no idea. We had no idea that happened. And that's the hard part about coming into that hill on a forehand yes. is you run the risk in hitting into the hill, standing up, and possibly rolling. Macy, uh, she clips the hilltop, and she makes a good bit of distance, so she can play it for a par from there. Natalie Ryan sends a nice forehand, and she makes it inside the circle. She'll be looking at birdie. That's a great pitch up to the basket. She'll have a tap in. Sarah didn't want any part of that putt. Oh, and just misses left side. Natalie for her birdie putt. Oh, it just hits the front of the cage. That'll be par for Holly. Natalie tops, taps in her par putt. This is hole two, it's a par three, 265 feet, straight uphill. You wanna get your drive over top of this fence um, right here to be able to have a look at birdie and also be able to have good footing. Um, sometimes being down on that hill makes it a little bit tough because you gotta throw it up and over the fence. So you want your, your shot to end up over that fence. We have Macy. She hits the gap perfectly, clears the fence. She gets up there for a putt. Natalie Ryan hitting the gap. And hits the tree, which is a good tree because she might have ended up a little bit farther over to the right. 
and you get it to stand up perfectly. Oh, and does it hit the fence? It does. Okay, okay. Sarah Hokum with a sidearm clean through the gap. Can she get a good finish? Oh, beautiful shot. Great approach. And Macy puts it in for birdie. And Natalie for birdie. Great putt. Sarah Hokum for her birdie. A little low. She'll have a drop in par. And Holly, you'll also be tapping at a par. Here we are on hole three, 651 foot R4. There's a lot of space to air out a shot here, but you do have out of bounds left and right. Just bite off as much distance as you can off of this elevated tee. Your second shot approaching into the green, you're gonna have to choose a gap, left or right. Now there is OB behind the basket as well if you get a little crazy with your up shot. And OB to the right side. I was really excited for this round that there wasn't a lot of wind off of the tee. So it really allows us to throw the disc that we would want to throw and to be able to get that max distance without having to judge how the wind is going to be blowing. Macy puts a perfect shot right in the primo landing zone. And Natalie Ryan up next doing a nice overstable flex shot. She'll be over on the left side of the fairway. Yeah, Holly. And that is straight down the center. Great shot. You'll also be looking on that left side. Sarah Hokum shot turning over a little bit early. Still potting off a good bit of distance. Oakham opting for the backhand up the hill, going left side gap, makes it inside. Inside the circle. Circle putt for birdie. That's great. Perfect. Oh, and that's turning over. Can't tell exactly where that landed. Natalie Ryan's second shot. She goes through the right side gap. It's one of the bigger guardian trees. It stops right in the opening. And you can't see it from here, but there's a little piece of fence that Macy hit. Natalie Ryan says she's just going to pitch this up for par. Look at this trick shot. And through the fence. What a fast green. It does slope off pretty bad on that backside. Oh, no. Oh, and hits the last tree on the way in. And Sarah puts in the birdie. That was a beautiful second shot. Macy puts it in for par. 
And Sarah Hokum had the shortest drive and the only one to get the birdie. Nice. So that's a fun note. No, that is awesome. And Natalie taps in her par. And hopefully you guys um, are really enjoying the coverage. We have Macy sitting at minus six, Natalie sitting at negative one, Sarah's at plus one, and Holly's at plus eight. And honestly, we have almost two separate tournaments going on here. Um, we have, you know, from the five spot all the way down to the tenth spot, we're all battling to try to get to that um, that cash line, which is sitting at the seven. So it, it's, it really is a battle out there. So if you guys were catching the coverage yesterday, this hole right here was aced by Miss Macy Valadez, and it was an amazing ace. This is a par, or this is um, hole four, par three. It's 332 feet straight down the middle, and it's an absolutely gorgeous hole. Uh, the creek that plays through the middle is not OB. It just plays casual. So let's see how Sarah plays this. And she misses the tree, which she has hit two days oh, in a row. Oh, and it turns very nicely. Oh, and catches those phantom little branches over there on the side. And I know she's happy just to make it past that tree. Yes. And Miss AC Macy herself. Do it again. Do it again. Oh. Wow. Past the basket. She'll have a birdie look. That was a full send. Great shot. Natalie Ryan hits the gap. Disc is hysering a bit early, but she gets pinned deep, and that'll be a putt for birdie. And you land right there in the fairway. You should have a good approach to the basket. Oh, beautiful shot. Ooh, it's giving it a run right there. Oh, Sarah gives it a great bid. This is Macy Valadez for birdie. She gives it a good step putt. Goes a oh. little past the basket. Natalie has a look for birdie. No. Oh, oh. Just hits the band. Obstructed by the bush. It was a good effort. So she's going to go ahead and tap out. Natalie asking for permission to tap out. In case you didn't know it, viewers at home, playing out of order is a courtesy violation, which is why you have to ask permission to tap out. Oh, and just hits the nub. And Hokum cleans up her par putt. And as you can tell, Macy is in the little creek right there. It does not play as OB. It will be casual, so we'll see how she approaches after Holly puts it in for par. If you watch coverage from the other day, we mm -hmm. saw Sarah end up in the same creek. And she decided just to stick her entire foot <laughs> her shoe. Yep. It went, uh, the creek was as deep as her shoe was tall. So that's full commitment right there. Yeah, so let's see what Macy decides to do. Macy Ooh. will right. not oh, be Macy. putting her foot in the creek. Yeah, okay. So okay. So she is going to place her marker um, at the first available um, place. On, on the, the backside of the creek. Yep, on the line of play, right in the juicy mud. So she taps oh, in oh. her par putt. A little bit of parkour. <laughs> Air Spectrum is Prodigy's new line of premium lightweight discs in the mid-range, fairway, and distance driver models. You can now get beautiful bursts of color no matter your preferred weight. Bag one today at prodigydisc.com.
Here we are, hole five, par three, 285 feet. This hole is surrounded by out of bounds. You just can't get away from it. Now, if you wanna play the hole safe, there's a lot of different landing zones, but really being downhill and only 285 feet and in the pro division, we should be looking at getting a birdie here. Sarah Hokum up first. And she misses the tree she's hit several couple of days and she lands safe in bounds. That's a birdie putt. And Macy is pushing that out of bounds, but she's well inside. And Natalie misses the tree she hit, but clips another one. And she's had a bit of trouble on this hole all weekend. And, oh, and you also clip a tree, but get a roll into the out of bounds. And this is Natalie Ryan's second shot. Standstill forehand. She makes it past the out of bounds in the middle. She'll she give it circle's edge. I think that's where around where she'll be at. That was a great up. Be sitting right underneath the basket. Be Natalie for par. Little left. Macy gives it a stepper and she pulls hers a bit right. She said, oh, well, I just shanked that one. Hokum, she captures the birdie here. This hole was giving her trouble the last couple of days, out of bounds day one, not in a good position day two, but not today, she gets the birdie. Macy Valadez, her putt has just looked great all weekend. Natalie Ryan gets a bogey. And you will also be tapping in for bogey. And, and we're off to the next. <laughs> long walk up the hill, yes. the hole six. All right, this is hole six, so Putting it in bounds off the tee is key here. If you want to go aggressive and try to push it straight, luckily today we didn't have a whole lot of wind, so you could really kind of air it out. Um, your second shot, you want to get up and possibly onto this hillside. That's ideal. That way you can have a uh, good approach up and possibly be past this little pine tree here on the right side that we're passing. Um, that way it leaves you with an easy approach um, for possible birdie. This is one of those really great shots that's over the water that should be pretty easy for us to get over, but with the wind, it can be a little bit dicey and you, you are able to flip it over. Sarah Hokum pushes the angle a little high. Is it gonna make it? And it does not make it in bounds. Bella Diaz cutting straight across the water with a very aggressive play. Plenty of distance to clear it, and she's safe. That's Perfect. an amazing shot. And Natalie puts hers center fairway. She'll also be in a great spot. And you are also looking at a great place. So Sarah did not cross inbound, so she is electing to re-tee. So she'll be throwing three. And she does land safe. This will be Holly's second shot. And there is out of bounds over here. And I'm cutting it close. And Sarah's giving it a good send. And yes, I like being on, um, preferably towards the middle or over to the left-hand side. 
I feel like that gives you a better angle up the hill. I agree. Natalie with a nice turnover shot, making it way up the hill. That's exactly what you're looking for. It's a great shot. Macy with the best shot off of the tee. And she'll also be still on the hill a little bit, but she should be able to look up there. And you'll have some awkward footing here. But yes, you'll get it up and onto the top of the hill. And when she clips that lone pine tree in the center of the fairway. And Macy, you can hear the snap on her shots. Oh, and hits a small little tree right there. She'll have a circle two look, though. Natalie Ryan's third shot. She oh, she's not, not happy with it. Yeah, she didn't turn it over enough. She needed a little bit more Anheuser angle on that to get it all the way to the green, but she's still right there. Oh, and you put it straight. I'm shocked that um, you guys weren't looking at going at the Heiser route around the outside. I don't know if that pine tree possibly was in the way. But I've seen a lot of people trying to go straight through that gap. And Sarah puts it slightly deep, but she'll have a look at it. Well, Whitney, I was trying to go oh, around okay. the tree, and that was <laughs> <laughs> operator error. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Natalie Ryan, perfect forehand chip right under the basket. Oh, solid approach. Oh, and Macy's a little farther back than I thought, but she'll have a little chip forehand up. And I have watched Macy demonstrate the most amazing touch, finesse, and control this weekend. Sarah putting Great in a double putt. bogey. Macy just putting all of her up shots right there near the basket. Short, long, just the most perfect touch game. It's really impressive. She's just making it look so easy. I've said that before, but it's the truth. And you're tapping in. Bogey. And Natalie will be tapping in par. Now let's take a look at these scores. After six holes, now Macy still in the lead. Natalie still in second. Sarah Hokum in third. Holly, Autumn, Jamie, Whitney, Lori, Kelly, and Katie. A lot of names you might not recognize. We've got some local talent here at the Lake Marshall Open. It's good to see some new names and faces up on this top 10 leaderboard. Let's check out hole seven, par five, 822 feet. The ITIL drive will land right about here. Second shot will fly over this out of bounds valley and land as far as you can get. Even landing right here at this gravel path is a perfect shot. That'll give you a hyzer into the green. Uh, with the perfect uh, three shots, you can give yourself a birdie putt. Um, but again, this is a par five, so you've got a little room for error. And off the tee, it is key to land on that flat area right there. Great shot by Macy. That looks beautiful. Uh, if you end up a little bit early or even pushed off on that right side, it really makes that approach across that valley very difficult. Footing is key on here, and placement is everything you need. Oh, and Natalie hits an early tree and kicks a little bit to the left. Yeah, two left out of the hand from Natalie. And Holly, you're putting this beautiful drive, and you'll be sitting at the top of that hill also. Let's see if Sarah can follow your vapor trails. And just peers it. Beautiful shot by Sarah. She'll be a little bit more over on the right-hand side. Natalie or the left-hand side. Stuck behind these trees, opting to go between them. Perfectly executed. Yes. And if you push that too long, you can end up down in that valley, and there is OB down there. 
Oakham's second shot, looking to make it all the way across. Perfect height. Yes, uses that whole fairway. Nice shot shaping. That's what you're looking for. Now, there is OB that comes in on that right-hand side that goes all the way down towards the basket. And you put it and make it around the corner. You also have a backside look at it. So this will be Natalie's third shot. Perfect and shot. Oh, that is amazing. Sends it on the right side, letting the disc work back left. She makes it way down there. That is a great shot. She shouldn't have any obstructions coming into the into and the pin. Finally, it is Macy's turn. <laughs> Second shot. Hangs it right, letting it come back left. She's playing this hole about as good as you can so far. And Sarah will give it that full S flex. And it pushes, comes back. <gasps> oh, wow. and gives it a solid bid. The green does slope down on that back side. So she'll be looking at an uphill putt. Macy's third shot. Oh, man. Her, she is just, that that forehand is just butter. It is beautiful. Yeah, she Love makes, watching it. She really works that harp. Natalie just pitching up. You will also be pitching up. And Sarah will have an outside the circle look. Oh, oh, what a good bid that was. Just a little bit more height, and she would have been right there in the trains. Macy looking to capture her second birdie of the round. She does it. She's so smooth with her putt. She really is. And with that perfect putt, that'll put her at two under for the round so far. Natalie taps in her par. And you will also be tapping in your par. And yeah. Hokum drops in her par. All right, this is hole eight, par three. It's 405 feet. It's downhill, so I feel like it almost plays closer to 350. Um, you have to be careful because it is a low ceiling. You don't want to end up on the left-hand side because it is basically natural jail. Um, having something that either stays center cut or even goes off to the right-hand side is okay. Um, I feel like this is definitely a birdieable hole for, for the entire field. Macy puts a nice hyzer shot right down the middle of the fairway and that is working its way. She'll be long and to the right. Yeah. yeah. And Natalie also pushes that right hand side. She looks like she's going to sneak oh, all the way through the canopy. Great. She'll be up there looking at Birdie. And you also push that right hand side. Oh, but catch that. One tree. And Sarah, I absolutely love, when I looked at this hole, I was like, I don't know about the forehand, that's gonna put me down on the right hand side too much. But the way she gets the disc to just stand up, push to that left and then finish, it's amazing. And you are down in this valley here Oh, it looks like you clipped, possibly clipped a tree and caught a roll. Oh. Hokum sends her upshot right into a tree. 
And Macy doing Macy things, just another simple sidearm chip shot. Oakham putting it near the pin, playing it for bogey. And this is Natalie Ryan for birdie. Look at that. Great. What? Oh, no. What? what? No. I wish we could get a replay on that. Oh, my goodness. She just got robbed of that birdie. Yeah, it was in, and I went to pick up my stuff and looked up, and it was out. Oh, wow. Hokum for Bogue. I don't think I've ever seen a spit out quite like that. I'm you know, kind of lost for words. Man, that's rough. That will hurt your feelings for sure. And Natalie will be tapping in her par. And she's looking at it yeah, like, how did that, that basket happen? basket a stare down. <laughs> <laughs> that was rude. Wow. Here we are, a hole nine, par four, 560 feet. Your tee shot is uphill and you need a left finish. The more right you land, the more pinched off you are and the harder it is to approach the green. Now behind the green, it does start to slant off a bit, so you don't want to be too aggressive coming in. As long as you get a good tee shot, it should leave you with about a 200 foot approach, giving yourself a birdie chance. And Macy puts this out wide, but that should be fine. It'll hyze her out into the perfect landing zone. Natalie Ryan with a nice low hyzer. That's also okay. Ending up left is better. You have a much better better look at the basket. And you are also coming around that tree, and yes, perfect location. Hokum with a nice shot shaping on this one. Clips off a tree, but she's still up top. Yes. Oh, great bid. Oh, and you get stopped by that last guardian tree, but you should be inside the circle or close to circle's edge. Natalie Ryan's standstill forehand approach also gets caught up behind a tree. And Macy will be looking at it right around 20 feet, if that. Natalie gives it a nice floaty bit up there. Great putt. It's a great birdie. Macy also with the birdie. Yes, and Sarah also taps in the birdie. And Natalie, we're putting it in for par. All right, let's take a look at these scores. Macy is running away with it. She is the only competitor that's under par. Um, Natalie is at even, Sarah's at plus two, and Holly's at plus 11. But man, that uh, fifth place through 10th place, we are battling right now. We are within five strokes of each other or seven strokes of each other, and we are really fighting for um, to finish on, that, on the, the top five, so. Jamie was shooting a great round. I'm also sitting at even. We appreciate you guys tuning in to this final round front nine coverage of the FBO League card, Lake Marshall Open 2022.